Road, Miscellaneous, Manistee County Conservation District, Charter Communication, and Michigan Township News. Any comments on any of that? Okay. Anyone with anything to bring before the board at this time? Council right along, County Commissioner. All right. <clears throat> County board meeting last month. Uh, as I referred you folks in the past, uh, we're in the process of updating our phone system. It's about a $97,000 <coughs> bill. We were doing that with the short tail. They were not the low bid. Uh, there was a few different things, uh, bells and whistles that uh, our experts told us they thought would be advantageous for us, so that's why we went with short tail, and that cost of 61105 that's uh, of the 97000 Uh Went to, uh, let me see here, there's placemaking training coming up April 12th, April 17th rather, uh, 9 to 4, that's going to be held out at the hospital, so, and they were looking for anybody and everybody who wanted to come and get that. It's free, it's put on by Michigan State. Placemaking? Yeah, placemaking <clears throat> is trying to develop, uh, where people move to an area and then try to develop work. Isn't that it? basically the gist of it, Guy? Yeah, actually our planning commission went through that training session. Month by month we, we purchased the DVDs a couple years ago when it first came out. It's basically trying to create a place in your community where people want to come and... and people are selecting yeah. where they want to live. Where they want to live. And then they try to find a career path. Right. Is what it wants to. <clears throat> uh, we approved uh, nine grant applications from the, on behalf of our agencies through the county to go to the local revenue board. Stacy Bightwork uh, gave us a presentation from the chamber, and I think probably the long and short of that is, is their attendance has been going up significantly over the last year, which is a good thing. Uh, Road Commission gave us their annual report. They are $257,000 to the positive for the fund balance for 2014, so that's much improvement from where they were just a couple years ago. And we also adopted Parkinson's Awareness uh, Month for April of 2015 <coughs> on behalf of the county. Uh, Bar Lake Improvement Board meeting. I know, Dennis, you were here. Uh, in a quick follow-up, I sent everybody here with the exception of Ms. Taylor, which I do not have your email, but uh, I need to get that. But everybody, I... I put together the minutes and I got together the resolution with the help of Kaminsky at the county. And my reading of that is a revolving fund, so it did not need to be paid back in one lump sum. It could have been paid back, in, you know, as we wanted to do on the board, it's 5,000. We still, I, I'm gonna bring that up at the next county commission meeting, at the, which is actually the fourth Tuesday of this month, and find out what the, wishes of the board is, I will be an advocate for paying that back over hopefully the three-year period that we have the ability that we're taxing. Um, road Commission. As Mr. Berkowitz and I were both at Cadillac, the five-year plan for MDOT, a little tiny sliver of US 31 is on the books for Manistee County. Uh, that's just coming up from Scottville, so there's really not much happening in with MDOT anywhere, at least as far as Manistee County under current plan. <coughs> Two mechanics have been offered jobs and it's pending. They're uh, agreeing and taking the offer. So that's been ongoing for quite some time. Um, they also signed a contract with Anekman Township, which you know Anekman Township does have a millage for roads. And he got, it, I believe it was over $90,000 for doing some gravel on, these, on some of their certified roads. Also, on the Oaks Liaison Committee, meet, and to uh, give you an update on that, we do have a new warden out to the Oaks. His name is Tom Mackey, M-A-C-K-I-E. There's uh, 10 new corrections officers, and there's 30 vacancies. And they've got a tremendous amount of overtime there. They're looking, they're, looking to try to go out and find new corrections officers. Jeff, is that because of retirements or expansion? 
retirements and I can't elaborate any more than that, John. Uh, and there's and there's about three thousand retirees coming up in the next few years, so they're they're in a mad hunt trying to find people. And you know, just for people to know out there, starting wages start out at about sixteen; they top out at twenty-four at a corrections officer's level. You know, and they also are losing people going to transfers. You know, we've got a re we've got our res one of our residents in the township, Jack Kowalski. He just went, uh, I forget where, but he's going as a deputy warden. So, you know, they've got, they've got transfers that also go into those, create those vacancies. They're also talking about changing some of the outdoor lighting to LED and as a, some type of motion sensor that the, the lights will brighten if it senses something. So, you know, they've Intensity's low, and then comes up if it system. needs to be. Okay. So it's kind of like a little bit of a warning system there also. And that is basically all I have for you folks. Any questions? <clears throat> Thank you, Jeff. Guy? Okay. And one land use permit? Issued in March, that was for a home occupation. Uh, no complaints and not a lot of activity in the last week because I wasn't here, but <laughs> I only had three calls in my absence. So nothing really. And the ongoing question, <coughs> any interest in Long 31? But wherever <laughs> you go, you hear that. No, not that I hear a lot of rumors, but there's nothing. I hear a lot of rumors, but. No official request or phone call or anything. Okay. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. Uh, in Chuck's absence, uh, Tom, do you have a yeah, Chuck, report? Yeah. Uh, Chuck couldn't make it today. I don't have a whole lot here. We had uh, 210 hours worth of uh, meetings and station training. Uh, fire calls was and fire suppression calls were 52. Staff hours, this is hours, two staff hours. And uh, medical first responders was 115 for a total of 377 hours. And uh, we had the uh, total number of calls was uh, 27. And that's all I got. Any questions? Again, thanks for what you guys do. A lot of time in there. How's how is that training coming on the weekend? I see there's guys there all weekends, every weekend. Is that's that a, a that's that's officer training. Okay. And I think I believe they're just about done with that. I'm not sure. We have a training coming up, another training coming up at the airport <coughs> the week of Mother's Day weekend. Day night. Day night. And we did get some. I, I mentioned that too. We've got <coughs> some. Five-inch hose that we ordered that came in. <coughs> there was uh, 20 bundles of it. They're 100-foot bundles, <coughs> and uh, it's big holes. A quarter of a mile of hose. Well, some of this is going to East Lake. This was, I believe, this was on a grant that we got, mm -hmm. along with the East Lake. Uh, that's a lot of water. <laughs> Mutual aid type of a thing. Hose, it's a huh? lot of water. I say it's a lot of water yeah, just well, to fill the hose. Yeah, it is. It's a it's yeah. a big hose, but you know, when you got a the aerial truck that we have now, it's got a lot of volume. So if we're at a hydrant, it's that's where we're gonna use it. How's it coming with uh, outfitting that new truck? We uh we're still working on it. We have, we haven't uh, gotten everybody to drive it yet. It's a big truck to drive, and it's just it's a big piece of equipment. It's a big piece of equipment. Yeah, and there's a lot to learn on it, so we're just kind of taking our time and not really pushing everybody <laughs> real hard. But, okay. but we're trying to trying to get everybody up to speed on it. Uh, as far as the liquor inspections are concerned, I suspect the 
Uh, Heathlands is probably open for the year with this nice weather. Uh, Meyer is uh, Meyer gas station is currently uh, open, and with the store opening, it will be another inspection point. And Jeff, you gave the Oaks quarterly report. Are you uh, who's the are you the liaison for us? Not for you guys. It'd be Clara. Clara was there. I picked her up and took her along. The revenue sharing board met Monday um, to hear the uh, applicants, and uh, we're reviewing the applications. And they'll meet again on June eighth at five p.m. to for the grant award of cycle one, two thousand fifteen. Under unfinished business, uh, Mr. Smith, can you give us an update on the Cromer McGinnis Green Place? The church can. Um, as you know, uh, we have decided uh, or discovered that all we have to do is just replace the pipe and uh, put a new catch basin out here on Cramer Road or, and uh, repair the outlet behind the hospital. We're going to add a couple of uh, culverts. Uh, we are in the process right now of uh, going to start taking out bids for the project. Uh, we uh, probably will be starting doing something. <coughs> we'll probably see something out there very shortly. I'd say probably by the beginning of the next month we should start uh, doing something. Okay, yeah. So you don't have a ballpark figure or anything you want to? Ballpark figure on the price is I'm going to stick it to 450000 we got 850 foot of pipe to replace. We are, I today, I worked on uh, working on some easements. I'm trying, I have to collect, get some easements around. Um, I'm hoping to go under budget quite a bit. That's what we're looking to do. <clears throat> I don't have the assessments yet, because I don't have an idea. As soon as the, the uh, bids come in, I'll have an idea on the assessment to give it to figure. We're looking at three different uh, aspects and of course I want to take the look cheapest one. So I'm waiting for the bids to come in before we are going to lock in on any, uh, or any assessments. Do you recall how many parcels? 318. You said culverts. Uh, will they I didn't mean culverts, I meant manholes. Okay. I'm sorry. How many, how many manholes? I think we're doing three. Well, we already have one, so we're going to do two extras. And you know, one have, across the road from the camera when it comes in. I wasn't here, but now we're going to replace the pipe. Is that correct? As far as we know, it's going to be cheaper to replace the pipe with a plastic pipe. So the so we got to dig it up. It actually has to be dug up then? Going to dig it up. We're going to dig it up and replace it. It's cheaper to do it that way than it is to put the liner in. And we're talking about quite a few thousand dollars cheaper. So that's the way we want to look at it. And it'll last for 50 years or 100 years. I think that to fill Mr. Hansen's big hole, I think that's what the study in the watershed, that it was that rain the event Two years ago, three years ago, two hundred year was a two hundred year event, not a one hundred year event. So they didn't have to design <laughs> the system to be larger. <clears throat> so all that's necessary to meet the law, the requirement of the law, is to replace the pipe that yeah, 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 yeah. has the bottom washed out. So we don't have to provide another outlet. We don't have to put any upstream storage. Any of that. None of that. We're not going to do any flight control. Right. No, yeah, like you said, no all that sort of thing. Uh, anything. Well, we're going to do is replace it and, and just to put a good maintenance on it. Uh, we're going to put a good catch basin down here to catch the, the debris, and then we're going to go up and remove all the debris up to the highway. On from Camel Road to the highway. From Road to the highway. We're going to go in there and clean that all up. And hopefully we'll knock down a lot of the debris. We're going to fix it so we can actually get a truck in there, somebody in there to clean it out when what's needed to be cleaned out, because that was that was the main problem. Is all the debris came down and blocked it, and it built up a lot of pressure, and then she blew underneath the road. 
we're right across the road and we're going to put a, a manhole so we can get down there and clean it up when we need to with, with leaves and stuff that goes through. And then on, on, uh, there's one in the hospital, at the hospital parking lot, there's a manhole already. <clears throat> we're going to have to bring that up to grade. <clears throat> then we're going to we'll put another manhole in there between, I don't know exactly where it's going to be, I don't have the engineering report or, or the things with me tonight. Uh, and then we're going to go back and fix up, fix the outlet, which is collapsing and watching out. They're doing some serious war, uh, erosion back there. Matter of fact, we got another big section that's going to collapse pretty quick. And we were just there the other day, and it was looking pretty. It was starting to lean. That's that behind the helicopter pad. Yeah, okay. yeah. We're going to, we're going to do uh, something with that. And your next meeting is? Oh, the next meeting is the 23rd of this month. We should have a little bit more. We'll have some of the, I'll have some drawings and stuff that people will be glad to look at, and we'll, have, we'll be able to answer more questions. The Dave will be here at the meeting, and he'll be able to answer the technical questions. I hope you either misspoke or I didn't hear you correctly when you said the fight would last 50 years. <coughs> What they say. That's thinking it, thinking it out of his. Well, I'll blast you and I. <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the one that was in there is giving you a hundred. Yeah. That's only they guarantee it for. They only guarantee it for 50 years. Well, I say automatically say it's going to last for 50, but they only guarantee it for 50 years. After, you know, after 25. I'm, I'm probably not going to be uh, involved in it. <laughs> any, uh, any, I'll be 100 and some years old by then. Any movement on any grants, loans? We're working on them. I'm working on it with the USDA right now. for, um, And uh, when I'm probably going to go with the USDA to finish off the, when I do the, the finishing of the financing. And if I do that, I, I may be eligible for some grants. Um, I, I've looked in just about everything there was. We, we, if we could have done a flood control, and then I could have done got a FEMA grant. But we're talking a million six. By the time we'd have got done, it'd have been more money than what it would be to put the pipe in, you know, just without the grant. So we we weren't. Uh, it wasn't lucrative to do that. And seeing that it's a 200-year flood. There's a question about whether it would be feasible, if, if uh, FEMA would do it or not, because they're not, uh, they don't do 200-year floods, they only go to 100-year. Well, then knock it back to 100. Yeah, why are we doing <laughs> Who classified it as a 200? I mean, who says? Uh, it, it's a state, uh, a state, the state did it. You, you can go online and find it. They had, their, they had res, all the reserves. They had, we had, uh, I think we had two 200 year floods in those 10, about 10 years. Rains. Yeah, rains. The big rain was in June of 06. That was the ridiculous one. We had that was a 200 year flood. That was also. a 19 incher in less than 24. And they have, they've had a couple 50, 50 year floods, and they've had a couple. But according to the data, and that was the, to the, uh, I don't know exactly where Dave got that. I think he got it through. Uh, uh, the weather. Uh, One last question: Is it has the uh, Department of Transportation and the OT been, been notified of this? Are they on board with the thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. I'm gonna leave. Under unfinished business also is a subdivision developer fee split. Um, Guy, if you could uh, pull on that a little bit, please. Well, <coughs> the sheet that you have in front of you with the shading on it, mm -hmm. the planning commission and our attorney felt since we piggybacked a couple of our ordinance changes or whatever amendments onto the public hearing and the request and his time that, that we should split the fee. Um, 
the Planning Commission was thinking a 50-50 split. In talking it over with our clerk, we got to thinking that the fee, the $750 fee, is for the application to start the process. And that really belongs totally to the developer. Okay. And it would probably be a bad precedent to set where the township would pick up a part of that. But the costs of advertising, attorney's fees, um, those ought to be split, or at least have been recommended to be split. And there's a couple ways here. Uh, a 50-50 split of the costs, that's the middle shaded area. So the developer would pay like $1,800. We would pay 1056 and these are totals. Or one-thirds, two-thirds, because we had two amendments and the developer only had one. So the bulk of these costs are really Mike Mika Myers, if you look above where they're all <coughs> shown. Uh, if we split one-third to the developer, plus the $750 fee, the developer would pay $1,454.11, the township would pick up $1408.22. Does the Planning Commission have a recommendation what they'd like to see? They said a 50-50 split, but we didn't get into the detail that's shown on this sheet. The Planning Commission did not. Well, I think that we should, what, whether it's 50-50 or one-third, two-third, I, I think it's only fair that we pick up uh, a portion of it. What portion, of it, it's up to the entire board, but seeing we right. did other business on his dime, I think it's only fair. My recommendation would be the one-third, two-thirds option because the agricultural use in residential R2 zoning district mm -hmm. was fairly complex because of the Right to Farm Act and the GAMPs that needed to be researched. The other one that was uh, banking and business in the, <laughs> in the commercial district that we somehow forgot, that was a simple one. That, that would not have taken much attorney time. And the developer gave us the language, gave the attorney the language that they wanted in the zoning ordinance. So the attorney had to research it and confirm it, but it didn't take a lot of time. So all these costs up above, of course, the Madison News Advocate noticed, you know, the right. planning commission. But of the, of the attorney fees, are the bulk of those used for our business or the bulk of those used for his business? I'd say the bulk of them were our business. But how to divide it, I, I'm sure you've seen Mika Meyer's invoices. They just say $980 and I worked on these five things. They don't give you a breakdown. <clears throat> or don't give us a breakdown. Any thoughts? I'm sure someone does. cost or township things that we needed to do, regardless if the developer was involved or not. Going back, Guy, to Dennis's question, has the Planning Commission made a recommendation? That we share the cost with the developer, yes, they did. Okay, but whether it's 50-50 or one-third, two-thirds? Is really up to this board. Okay. Yes, ma'am? <clears throat> Do you want to take this to the Planning Commission on Thursday night, this breakdown? And wait another month? That's what it would entail? Yeah. Could. I would. Well, these are hard figures that they can deal with. Right. Yeah. Which they didn't have before. Is that what you'd like to do? Is that a motion? I can make that a motion. I'll make a motion that we take this worksheet to the Planning Commission for Thursday night for review. In on their, the damn fees. In their recommendation. And, right. okay. I'll support that. 
What did you say? Damn fees. That's his name. Oh. D A H L. That's Dom. his name. Dom. Dom. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been moved and supported that a that a, a hard copy of the, of the figures be given to the planning commission and ask them for a recommendation on Thursday. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you very much. Uh, the Bar, Bar Lake Improvement Board. Um, <coughs> do you want to dwell on that any further, or? I'll field any questions if you have any, but uh, you guys got the minutes, so. Well, I emailed them. To <coughs> I did have a couple questions too. Um, the letter asked for two things. Oh, one, sorry, one, yeah. one was, was authorized and one was not by the board. The one about changing the loan to a grant, I see failed in the proposed. This is right first the letter. Right. Yeah. The other one, the, the <laughs> authorized request was supposed to be for the township to pay its assessment. It's $250 assessment. Well, that there's three parcels. I think there's two <clears throat> in, the, in the district. The, the, the county owns one, we own two, and the state owns one, I think. The vice president, what's that gentleman's name? The vice president. Yeah. Al Gore? No, no, no. <laughs> so the, of the, the secretary? Or? Oh, you're talking Jim. Uh, Jim, yes. Yeah. Snow Inc. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Okay, he did, not have, he did not have any township parcels on his assessment list. So I have it. the official list. <coughs> okay. Well, he thought he did too, so. If he got it from the treasurer's office, they probably would not have listed the township, the state, and the county because we pay no taxes. Okay. And they wouldn't have sent out a note, they wouldn't have put it on our okay. tax notice because we don't pay, we don't get a tax notice. Okay. The other portion of this, uh, I, this, item on the agenda is the letter that was presented to me to bring before the board asking for that and that the Bar Lake Township Association Improvement Board at their meeting they elected not to present that officially so correct all right good diet yeah two two <clears throat> and that was the letter that you were in reference to yes Anything else on the bar lake? Um, I also wonder, unfinished business is that request from uh, <coughs> West Shore, <coughs> West Shore Medical Center, excuse me. That memorandum of letter of understanding to use the township hall as a emergency operations center. Uh, I talked with uh, Jim Henderson, who was the creator of this thing. It was a project for him to do some of his, uh, I don't know, it was an internship or something that he was involved in that he wanted to, uh, anyhow, in a nutshell, they would, if something happens to the hospital, they need to set up, an, you know, a tornado, or a flood, <coughs> whatever, they need a place to set up a, uh, emergency operations center and he would like to get into a, an agreement with to use the Manistee Township Hall. I don't see any problem with it. They bear all the expense. All they need is a roof over their head. What? I, I you support, look apprehensive? No? Okay. I support the concept. The letter that they sent us was in the form of, was it in a resolution or a contract or an agreement? Memor or Memor Memorandum of Understanding. Okay. My only question about that was, they they say the Manistee Township Hall, they, are they going to take over the whole thing, including these offices? No. no. Or just that end? or It, it didn't really specify. That was, that's all. Well, Jim and I talked about it, and it wasn't the business. It wasn't the business portion of the building. It was okay. the other end. But if you want that in this letter, we can have it modified. 
That's not something that's going to happen right now. Right. We can certainly have it modified to indicate that it would be the banquet hall only. Right. If you I think that's quite important. Yeah. 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 I, okay. I think that's I important. Think so. Okay. There's a question for you guys. Does either this or the fire hall have uh, emergency power generation? We don't. This doesn't, and I don't think that the fire hall. No, no, the fire hall doesn't. Uh, they bring that with them. They, they have emergency generators on the I trucks. Bring it with them. But again, that's the hospital's puppy. Yep. <coughs> I just, it's, it's a nice thing to have in an EOC. Right. You know. Sure. I mean, I don't think they're going to be doing surgery here. Okay, I will get a hold of uh, no, it's a communication Ms. Miller and so suggest to her that she modify this to say the bank was all over. Anything else under old business? Under new business, the Meyer Grand Opening or ribbon cutting is the 30th of this month. It's official. We've been sent uh, a uh, invitation to the ribbon cutting, so it's going to happen. That's the whole store? Yes, the, the gas station is currently open. Oh, yeah. uh, I went there for gas today and, and the bumps were down. The, the bumps were up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the billboard says the opening is May 3rd even though the ribbon cutting is on the 30th. Well, I think the, the, ribbon, opening, the ribbon cutting is for the other. Grand opening. Right. The grand <laughs> opening is the, the third. Grand yeah. Opening. yeah. We're cutting a ribbon on the 30th. That's, that's, all, right. that's yeah. all we know. That's what we're doing. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Uh, the uh, <coughs> annual trash gathering will be May 9th, north of the fire station. That's from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Um, I think Diane is going to put something in the paper, is that correct? That is correct. And that will tell you what's allowed, what isn't, is that correct? That is also correct. Okay. We're looking for volunteers, the fire department normally helps with that. They're going to be at the airport training. Um, they feed you when it's done, so. Anything else under new business? <clears throat> we received a copy of the bills. Any questions? Well, first, any motion? Uh, I'd entertain a motion to, to approve the bills as presented. I'll make a motion to allow the bills paid as presented. Is there a second? <coughs> I'll second. Any discussion? Question? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Another opposed? The MTA <coughs> meeting guide <laughs> is going to be here April 27th at 7 p.m. And it's my understanding that the clerks and treasurers meet that same evening here? That is also correct. And that a representative or Mr. Representative Friends himself will be here. To, That's what I'm told. To give his take on Proposal 1. The Township Planning Commission regular meeting is this coming Thursday at 7 p.m. If there's an appeal, that will be May 5th at 7 p.m. The next regular meeting of the Manistee Township Board is Thursday, May 14th, 2015, at 7.30 here at the fire, here at Any other public comment, questions? Motions in order? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. So move supportively adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 A